Good morning, Year 3, and welcome to Wednesday's Math Lesson. I thought I'd drop in in person today, and um, in a moment I'm going to share my screen with you while we go through the lesson for today, Wednesday. It's been great to see all the work that you've been doing, and I hope you're enjoying learning all about fractions. Today we're going to be looking at adding fractions. So let's have a look at our lesson. So we're going to start off as usual with some mental maths practice. So you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil and today we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting ones from numbers with up to three digits. So to be successful today, you need to check whether you need to add or subtract. Must look really carefully if it's asking you to add the numbers or to subtract the numbers. And you need to use your number bonds to help you calculate. And also if you need to, you can use some jottings. So pause the video now and give yourself about five minutes choose your challenge, see how you get on. Off you go. Great, well done. Let's have a look now and I'll give you a few moments just to check your answers. Remember, if you haven't got them quite right, have another look See if you can find out where you've made your mistake. Okay, so moving on. Today, we're going to be looking at adding fractions with the same denominator. And to be successful today, we're going to need to be able to recognize which is the denominator and the numerator in a fraction, and also to use bar models to help us with our calculating. So let's start off. Can you remember which one is the denominator? That's right. The denominator is the, the number at the bottom. The denominator, and that tells us how many equal, spar equal parts the whole thing has been split into. And the number on the top that's right, you've guessed it, that's the numerator. And that tells us the number of parts that we have got. So let's have a look at this little question. As a fraction, how many of the boxes are coloured in? So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is, what is the denominator going to be? So the denominator tells us how many parts the whole thing has been split into. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five equal parts. So our denominator is going to be five. As a fraction, how many of the boxes are blue? Well, that's an easy one, isn't it? We've only got one that is shaded in blue. So let me write that down. We've got one out of five that are blue. Then we need to find out how many of the boxes are orange. Well, again, if we look at the orange ones, we've got two coloured in orange. So that's two out of the five. And again, let's see if we can write that as a fraction. So two fifths of the boxes are orange. So to work out how many of them are coloured in, we need to add those together. And I've used a bar model to help me 
and you can see that I've shaded one fifth in blue and two fifths in orange. So how many fifths are shaded in in total? That's right, three fifths. Oops. Three fifths. So three fifths of the boxes are coloured in. Let's have a look at another question. Oh, here we are, remember. When we're adding fractions with the same denominators, we just need to add the numerators. The denominator stays the same. If we have a look back here, we've got blue, one fifth. The orange is two fifths. So one fifth plus two fifths makes three fifths. It's a bit like saying one apple and two apples make three apples. You wouldn't say that one apple and two apple make three oranges. They don't suddenly change to something different. So we need to keep our denominator the same in our answer as well as in the question. So the key fact when adding fractions with the same denominators, just add the numerators and keep the denominator the same. Here's an example of adding fractions, showing it on a number line. So our calculation is one quarter plus one quarter. So if we have a look on our number line, we've got one quarter, then we're adding another one quarter and that shows that we've got two quarters. So you can see we've added the numerators one plus one is two but our numerator has stayed, our denominator sorry has stayed the same and it's showing us in quarters. And if we have a look again at the bar model down here we've got one quarter plus another quarter gives us two quarters out of the whole thing. Here's another one. This one we're looking at fifths again. So well, what fractions are our answers going to be in? That's right, our answer is going to be in fifths as well. So we've got two fifths to start off with. Then we're adding two more fifths to that. And you can see on our number line, we've reached now four fifths. So four fifths is our answer. And I can show you that on the number on the bar model as well. Bar models are really useful for adding fractions and really help you see what's going on. So we've got two fifths blue, two fifths that I've shown in red, and if we add them all up and count them, we've got one, two, three, four fifths. Great. Now, let's see how you get on. Now today, we've got our blue and our green groups doing the same task. Task one. The simplified task has got some extra help there for you. If you want to stop the video here you can do while you complete task one or you can carry on listening while I explain task two and then do all the tasks together at the end. So task one is adding fractions and you've got some bar models there to help you to shade in. Task two is showing the fractions on a number line. And the extension task, when you've completed task one, when you've completed those two, is to have a look at Harry's calculation down here. Now, Harry's adding fractions, but he's made a mistake. And you need to have a look and explain what mistake he's made. So, remember, send in your work by half past three if that's possible. 
And then tomorrow's video, or the, the video for tomorrow's lesson, will be available from five o'clock this afternoon.